Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to volume two of the How To series, How To Beat A Heavy Hitter. All right, now the very first thing, just like I said in the How To Beat A Pusher video, is to believe that you can beat a heavy hitter. They can be quite intimidating. They can come in, they can be whacking that ball, they can be hitting that ball big. If you believe you can beat them and you follow these tips that I'm about to run through here in the next few minutes, you have a massively better chance of beating them. You have to have that self-belief if you can beat them. Do not be intimidated by them. Go out there, believe you can do it, and you will be able to. Now, first things first, when you play a heavy hitter, they like to have that good pace ball. They like to have that ball getting right around their waist. They like to be able to redirect with their own power, okay? When you change the pace and change the spin of the ball, you make it very difficult for them to find a rhythm. You wanna give them that high slow ball followed by the low spin ball followed by the heavy deep ball. You give them that variety, they can't get into a rhythm and they can't find their range to be able to hit through on that sweet spot. They're gonna struggle with that. It's gonna be massively in your favor. Give that a try. Next thing is not wanting to come back too big with that preparation or that unit turn, okay? If you come back too big, you're gonna catch the ball late, and when you catch the ball late, the ball's gonna spray, okay? When that ball's coming at you, your goal is to get a good contact point on it, and that is achieved by a shorter, more compact unit turn. You're gonna be able to get a better contact point through the ball, okay? When we come big, we spray. When we shorten up and focus on a good contact point, we're gonna be able to redirect, we're able to control, we're able to add those spins in that I talked about on the last thing. Last but not least, but arguably the most difficult one here is trying to approach the net against a heavy hitter. Now, if you approach the net with a heavy hit ball, they're gonna be able to whack it back and you're gonna be in trouble out the net. Now, when you slice it, this is key, you wanna slice it, keep that ball low and follow it in. You force them to have to get low and hit up on the ball. Then you're able to close in and put the volley away. A slice is a really great shot against a heavy hitter because they have to come from underneath it and they have to hit up. They typically hit the ball a little flatter. They're gonna hit up on the ball. You can close and pop that volley away. If you're coming off a regular pace ball around their waist, they're gonna drill it through. You slice it, you force them to have to come underneath, you close and have confidence in your body. Alrighty guys, so there it is, how to beat a heavy hitter. Let's do a quick recap here. All right, first of all, you have to believe you can beat them. Don't be intimidated by them. Go at it with a game plan, go at it with a strategy. You've got a massive chance of being able to beat them, okay? Then you wanna follow up with changing that pace, changing the spins, not letting them get into that rhythm. Then from there, making sure that your contact point is good by not getting too big with your unit turn. You're gonna catch the ball late and spray it if you do. And then finally, last but not least, the hardest one of all is slicing that approach and following it in and having confidence in your volley. You do all these things, you massively increase your chance of beating that player. You're gonna come in with confidence, first of all, you're gonna make them struggle because they're not able to get a rhythm, and you're going to be controlling the points because of your own agenda. You're not letting them dictate, okay? You're making it tough, you're getting them out of the rhythm, they're gonna get frustrated, the ball's gonna be in your court, quite literally, okay? Follow these tips, good luck in your next match, hope you enjoyed it. Alrighty guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, I really appreciate it if you subscribe below, okay? It would do me a big favor, it would help with the YouTube algorithm. I'm also on Instagram at Let's Learn Tennis. I really appreciate you, we'll see you soon.